last thing you need to do is create and maintain a research log. So the reason why I really want to emphasize this is it's a way to keep yourself organized in this very big and long and drawn out project. So you have a whole semester of research and writing that you're going to be doing. And so it's really going to be important for you to stay organized and also keep track of all your work because you're not going to remember what you did today in two months. So it's really, really helpful if you write all your thoughts down throughout your whole process, because it's got to be really, really fresh in your mind and you're not going to remember it a day let alone a week from now. Those brilliant ideas are just going to disappear unless you keep track of them. So I could tell you how to create a research log, but really it's about your own personal preferences and your own way of being organized. But here are some things that I do encourage you to keep documents of. Write down your thoughts. Write down your questions. When you're reading articles, whatever quotes pop out at you that you're highlighting, type those up. And also write the summaries of those articles because you're not going to remember everything about an article three months from now. So it's always really good to keep up with that. And the wonderful thing is once you have it written down, you're actually just a step closer to putting it all together into your paper and presentation. It will give you a huge advantage that way. Think about if you have all your citations, all those articles in proper citation format, and all you have to do is copy and paste it into your works cited or your reference page, and then put in the in-text citation that's going to be a lot easier than, say, you are about to turn in your paper, it's one o'clock in the morning, and you can't find where you got that quote, and you have to go digging for it, doing, backlogging your research to find it again, and then put the citation together. That's just added stress you don't need. So, I encourage you, get started, create a folder to put uh, your articles, make a document, make a spreadsheet, whatever works best for you. But it's a great way to keep yourself all together and organized. And just think, if you have a whole Word document of all the key words that work and don't work, and what databases you've used and what search strategies you have conducted. When you go to talk to your professor or a librarian, you can show your cookie trail of how you got to where you are and where you're stuck. We can look back and see, okay, this is the route you took and now I understand why you're stuck and let's get you unstuck from here. That helps not only you, but it saves us time when we're talking and trying to help you. So find a method that works best for you and get started.